Good morning, uh, colleagues, and thank you, Mr. Sanel. Uh, there are two pieces of news for you. One is that my presentation is going to be short, and the second is that I don't have a PowerPoint. Personally, I'm allergic to those, so I also think I should not inflict the same on others. I am from Ministry of Power, and uh, I look after distribution of power. One of the most ticklish uh, aspects of uh, power is uh, distribution. Distribution of power is not what exactly it means. It also means all the grids which you see, the consumer interfaces, and also interesting things like tariff, load shedding, and uh, uh, lastly, and most importantly, it is the revenue point in a very large, one of the most critical sectors of our infrastructure in the country. The revenue in power sector is generated in the distribution sector, and this is the area where we face some problems. All other problems of generation, uh, capacity being built, etc., have its root causes in not adequate revenue being generated on various accounts. Now, uh, I implement a program, and uh, which, as the government programs are want, is very complicated name: Restructured Accelerated Power Development Reforms Program. Basically, it seeks to reduce the level of losses. I mean, we we lose about 30 percent of uh, the electricity which we supply in the country. Lose means that either somebody doesn't pay for it, or it is lost on account of bad state of the grid. Now, no business could sustain itself uh, if you lose 30 percent of your revenue generation, and neither does power sectors. So, our annual losses in the power sector are in the region of 35 to 36,000 crores, which all of us collectively pay via taxation. I mean, it's not that it's, it goes unpaid for. So, we all pay through tax, and maybe few of us steal and enjoy free power. So this is the way it is. This also, unfortunately, since we do not know where our consumers are, we are not very sure as to who is consuming how much amount. Uh, the thieves do not tell you how much they are going to consume and when they are going to consume. We are unable to plan our distribution grids. And if we cannot plan our distribution grids, what happens is that you have unannounced uh, load shedding. It results in poor quality of power, which is known as brownouts. It also uh, results in uh, higher uh, tariff being paid by those who legally pay. And uh, last but not least is that the equipment life gets reduced very significantly. Now we're talking of power, which is the most expensive infrastructure, piece of infrastructure. So equipment life has a huge, huge uh, meaning over here. And uh, so the investments uh, which we make today in the power sector uh, will not read fruition unless we correct those problems. Now, we are introducing the use of ICT, Information and Communication Technology, or we are digitalizing our distribution grids, basically to set up a basic electricity audit and accounting system and on our grid. This is to know, we know at each point of the, the grid, who is consuming how much at in a real time basis now for that i require some automatic readers i pull data at regular intervals i collate this at some points with the aid of you know uh, servers or some things like that and i have a very strong communication base for that now once we do that we will have a fairly decent idea as to where our energy flows are going and we can control those we can take the corrective action as a huge program, we are doing it countrywide. We think it will cost us somewhere in the region of 9 to 12,000 crores. And once we do that, we'll at least be sure uh, what is happening to our electricity, and then we can tackle it. Apart from that, we also propose to invest into the grid to make them more intelligent. Of course, the word used to be intelligent until the last couple of years back. Now, smartness is in vogue. So, well, uh, we'll have a smart grid, you know. <laughs> so we always thought it was an intelligent grid. Maybe we were out. So it is a smart grid now. Uh, the credit for this obviously should go to uh, U.S. government and the Obama administration, who actually have invested quite a large amount of their fiscal stimulus package into the smart grids, which, which is basically rolling out intelligent or smart meters. Uh, who, which are these smart meters? These smart meters are going to be in the house 